don't remember the first country song we heard. No, because we're probably too young. Yeah, but I think when we were kids, I mean, we kind of thought country was like really silly, cheesy, stupid, stupid music. <laughs> yeah, but then we found Bright Eyes, the band Bright Eyes. Yeah, but I think maybe even before that, we heard um, the soundtrack, or we saw the movie Oh Brother Where Art Thou by the Coen Brothers. And I think that it might have been the first time. Yeah, maybe. Um, I mean, we'd never really heard Blue Gas before before we saw that film, and yeah. I think it's such a special film. Like the just the overall vibe to it is very, very interesting, and it's kind of you know I feel it's very old, set in like the Depression era, and mm -hmm. um, it just took us to like another world and gave it like the country music another context, like we hadn't heard it in that context before. Like before, mm -hmm. we'd only heard like what do you say, like or like it was like this like kind of like yeah. jack out, like just. We didn't know what country music was, basically, and so we heard a different yeah. kind of side to it. It started um, in 2007. Yeah, um, I started playing guitar and um, started just writing songs and started recording demos at home. And so Joanna asked me if she could just sing some harmonies on, on a song I was recording. And I said, sure, yeah. And she did, and it just sounded great. And then we started just singing together. And yeah. basically since then, we have been singing together. Yeah doing it together. You know, if we hadn't found this music through internet, you know, and so I think that today the world is really one. Like, we can grow up in, grow up in Sweden, but we went to an, an, an English school where we were taught, um, you know, we had teachers who were American and we watched the American TV, and so we kind of, you know, it doesn't yeah. really matter where you're from anymore. Mm -hmm. Like, I think, well, I think there's a lot of music today that is described as country or classified as country that I wouldn't say is really, you know, I mean, I think genres kind of change, though, you know, I, I don't think that, you know, they're just words, basically, but I don't think what was called country in, you know, like the 60s or the 50s or the 40s are the same thing that's called country now. Yeah. Um, I would love to see, like, Bob Dylan at the Royal Albert Hall in, like, 63 or something like that. I, I don't remember exactly when it was, but, you know, seeing something like that would have been very cool. Um, you know, and, and, I mean, but if we lived in the 60s, we'd probably just be stuck in, in Stockholm, Sweden, anyway. Exactly. So, yeah. <laughs> he came to Stockholm, all right? He must have played. Shows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, yeah, and we also got to work with uh, Mike Mogus from Bright Eyes, and Bright Eyes was the band that sort of started this whole thing, you know, for us, that got us into this kind of music, and um, Connor Wilbur is the singer of Bright Eyes, and um, sang on our record, and so you know that has just been a dream. You know that, that's just yeah, it's been amazing. Johnny too.